Hey guys, what's up? This is Fixer Med. In today's video, I'd like to further discuss the FSRS Anki algorithm with you guys. I know I've made uh, videos on this topic in the past, but I'd like to update it with the uh, research I've done by reading the uh, GitHub wiki pages. So FSRS, as you know, it's based on a variant of difficulty stability retrievability model. Uh, this is great for potentially shortening the amount of reviews you do every day based off how easily you answer a question, etc. So I've been going through the math here and there's a lot of good data here to analyze. And from reading through this multiple times, I've come through the conclusion that 85% is a great desired retention to have for a pre-medicine or medical student. If you're a language learner, uh, I don't know what retention rate would work the best for you guys. I know I have some language learners on the channel. Uh, the channel's main focus was on uh, medical school studies and pre-medical school studies. So you guys might want to play around with that more if you're a language learner. But if you're a pre-medical or medical student, your best bet is to set your retention rate to 85%. And honestly, don't worry about anything else besides running through practice problems to complement everything you're memorizing through Anki. Now, this doesn't mean you can just, you know, go through the questions raw without learning the material first. You're still gonna have a greater or more difficult time memorizing concepts if you didn't learn it properly through something like Boards and Beyond or AMBOSS articles or RX. So if you wanna set your desired retention to 85%, you can just go ahead, open up Anki, go to a deck you're currently doing, hit options, Scroll down until you see FSRS, activate it, set your desired retention to 85%, save it, and forget about it. So I try, I'm try. i trying to keep this tutorial short, sweet, to the point. Uh, if you want to do great in your coursework and you use Anki, your best bet is to set your desired retention to 85%. I've made uh, two other videos on this subject that I'll link to this video. I mainly made this video for a short and sweet explanation to the question, what do, what retention rate do I need for Anki FSRS to properly work for me? If you're doing uh, questions, you're learning the material properly and you're using Anki to memorize those fine details that you need to get those last few points, 85% should work really well for you guys. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If not, this is Fixer Med signing off. Uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys could leave a like, subscribe to the channel or whatnot if you found this video helpful. If you didn't, be sure to leave a dislike and explain why down in the comment section below. But that's all I have for you guys today. So good luck, guys. Uh, good luck studying as always. I will catch you on the flip side. Goodbye.